This is Dr. David Shine, and welcome to Business Law 101. Even if they're married, they could still change it to their kids, because I thought it first goes to their husband or their spouse, and then it would go to their children. Oh, good question, Vanessa. You're asking community property question. And the, the answer is, is you may need the consent of your spouse in Texas and other community property states to do that if the policy was paid for with community money. So, uh, but once it's in place, uh, you're correct. But uh, usually uh, we don't encounter that problem because oftentimes each person makes the decision on their own life insurance. But again, that's not mandated. And, and where you may see that to be more of the issue is in divorce situations, one of the things that gets negotiated is to whom the existing life insurance shall be paid. So I was a mediator for a mediated divorce recently for a very elderly couple. They'd been married over 40 years. And one of the things that was agreed is that the husband who had a very substantial life insurance policy and was much older, well, both of them were very old, but he was five years older than the wife, is that he would continue his life insurance and that it would pay to the adult children that they now had in their uh, marriage. But uh, where I was going with this is to talk about the fact that you could change the beneficiary and uh, say that the couple gets to be in their 80s and they say, gee, you know, our kids have been very successful. Why don't we change the policy to say, you know, we've now got eight grandchildren to make the policy pay in equal shares to the eight grandchildren rather than to the, the children. So there's some ways that you can play with this. And again, as that can be done as long as you're the owner of the policy. And again, subject to Vanessa's uh, caveat here, that in a community property state, if the policy is viewed as community property, it may take both spouses to modify the beneficiary on any community uh, policy like that. So um, a good question, a good little twist to the situation. This is Dr. David D. Shine for Business Law 101. If you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe on your favorite platform.